FAA on OFT3 test license. Starliner preparing for next flight. Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is our new episode with latest SpaceX and space news. So, let's get started. After SpaceX's initial attempt with the Starship Super Heavy rocket faced challenges, a substantial seven-month hiatus ensued before they could give it another shot. The first go-around left the launch pad in disarray, raised environmental concerns, and culminated in a rather spectacular explosion. The most recent attempt unfortunately ended in a similar fiery spectacle. However, there's a glimmer of hope that the waiting period for the next trial might not be as protracted. NASA, banking on Starship for its ambitious Artemis program aimed at returning astronauts to the lunar surface, could wield influence over the Federal Aviation Administration's FAA decision regarding SpaceX's testing timeline. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, provided some optimism by suggesting that the next set of prototypes might be ready in a relatively short span of three to four weeks. SpaceX, ever at the forefront of innovation, currently has three more ships in the final stages of production, showcasing a proactive approach to refining and advancing their spacecraft. The recent test, despite its fiery conclusion, revealed a series of notable improvements. SpaceX implemented a strategic water suppression system designed to dampen vibrations originating from the 33 Raptor engines of the booster. Encouragingly, Musk personally inspected the launch pad and conveyed that no significant refurbishment was deemed necessary for the water-cooled steel plate, indicating a positive post-flight condition. Ascending to an impressive altitude of 93 miles, a marked improvement from the previous attempt's 24 miles, the spacecraft demonstrated progress. All 33 booster engines successfully ignited, representing a significant leap forward from the initial flight where six engines experienced failures. Notably, the spacecraft adeptly navigated the point of separation between the booster and the main body, a juncture where it faltered in the preceding flight. Additionally, the flight termination system, designed to execute a controlled destruction if the rocket deviates off course, exhibited improved functionality with no noticeable delay, in contrast to the 40-second delay observed previously. Former FAA officials, while expressing cautious optimism, have raised pertinent questions regarding the necessity for changes, especially in the context of public safety. This underscores the crucial need for SpaceX to rigorously evaluate the data and insights gained from the recent test to ascertain any required modifications or enhancements. However, it is worth noting that the FAA, already grappling with heightened demands from the burgeoning commercial space industry may face challenges in expediting its review process, particularly if the investigation uncovers additional complexities. Wayne Monteith, a former FAA official, offers a perspective that the review could unfold relatively swiftly, potentially within weeks rather than months, contingent upon the comprehensive data analysis. SpaceX's task now is to diligently investigate the triggering factors behind the flight termination system and the subsequent booster explosion post-separation. Before SpaceX can embark on another Starship Super Heavy launch, a meticulous and comprehensive report detailing the root causes of the failure and outlining proposed changes must be submitted. The FAA, in its statement, underscores the necessity for SpaceX to obtain a modified license that addresses safety, environmental, and other regulatory requirements, highlighting the stringent oversight in place. NASA's significant investment of $4 billion in the Starship project amplifies the importance of its success, particularly in the context of the Artemis program. The timeline for the first Artemis landing with astronauts hinges substantially on Starship's reliability, which serves as the linchpin for NASA's lunar ambitions. Additionally, the intricate process of refueling in orbit before venturing towards the Moon, a feat never before achieved, adds complexity to the ongoing mission. In light of these critical dependencies, there is a growing call for the Biden administration to actively engage with the FAA and encourage a swift decision-making process. Todd Harrison, 
a non-resident senior associate at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, emphasizes the critical role Starship plays in NASA's Artemis program and the broader potential benefits for the commercial space sector, urging proactive measures. Nevertheless, inherent tensions may emerge between SpaceX's inclination towards expedited government approval and the procedural intricacies of bureaucratic processes. As Harrison notes, the expectations of SpaceX for logical and efficient timelines may clash with the inherent characteristics of government bureaucracy, adding a layer of complexity to the unfolding scenario. In conclusion, while the recent test flight has showcased promising advancements, the intricate interplay between regulatory scrutiny, technical evaluations, and the high stakes associated with NASA's lunar aspirations suggest that the road ahead for SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy may involve further nuanced challenges before achieving a seamless trajectory. The latest update on Boeing CST-100 Starliner brings promising news as NASA asserts that the eagerly anticipated first crewed launch remains on track for a liftoff on April 14, 2023. Phil McAllister, the director overseeing NASA's Commercial Space Division, conveyed this positive development during a recent meeting of the NASA Advisory Council's Human Exploration and Operations Committee. While acknowledging that there are still tasks to complete, McAllister highlighted the successful resolution of all issues stemming from the second uncrewed test flight, Orbital Flight Test 2, OFT2, conducted in May 2022. Moreover, the certification paperwork for the upcoming crew flight test, CFT mission, is nearing completion, currently standing at an impressive 98%. Originally slated for launch this year, following the successful completion of OFT-2, the CFT mission faced delays, pushing the new launch window to no earlier than March 2024. These delays were attributed to addressing two specific issues, the removal of flammable tape from wire harnesses in the capsule and the redesign of soft links in the parachutes to enhance safety. Expressing confidence in the progress made, McAllister suggested that the tape remediation work had been successfully concluded. Boeing corroborated this by confirming the removal of over 1,300 meters of flammable tape from the Starliner capsule. The company went the extra mile by implementing additional safety measures, such as wrapping some areas with non-flammable tape or covering them with a non-flammable multi-layer fabric sleeve. To comprehensively evaluate the performance of the redesigned soft links in the parachutes, a crucial drop test is scheduled for January. Successful completion of this test is pivotal for maintaining the April 14th launch date. The significance of the CFT mission extends beyond being the first crewed flight for Starliner. It introduces two remarkable achievements. The first time a crewed US capsule will land on land, deviating from the traditional ocean splashdown and the first crewed launch from Cape Canaveral since Apollo 7 in 1968. The mission is poised to launch atop an Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. The successful execution of the CFT mission holds pivotal significance, enabling Starliner to participate in long-duration International Space Station ISS, crew rotation missions. These missions would alternate with SpaceX's Crew Dragon, contributing to the regular operations of crewed missions to the ISS and underscoring the continued collaboration and advancements within the realm of human space exploration. The journey to April 14, 2023, marks a crucial chapter in the evolving narrative of space exploration, promising a future where crewed missions become more routine, pushing the boundaries of human achievement and understanding. So that's all about today's episode. See you tomorrow, and until then goodbye.